What's going on YouTube, Facebook, and Pepper Lovers? This is King Dennis here with a video, uh, unboxing video um, of John Ford's peppers. Uh, he sent it to me via this packaging, uh, which is very different because we've so been accustomed to the uh, small flat rate boxes or uh, the medium flat or the large flat rate boxes that UPS, USPS uh, makes us use. But anyways, he was able to use this, this is I would say about an 8x10, maybe about an inch and a half thick uh, box and it had, it's the same uh, shipping price as you normally would for uh, the flat rate, small flat rate box. So um, he knows very well. If you guys have followed that I've had issues with these aerophyid mites in this house, uh, um, my parents' house, and it's really been a nuisance and I've not been able to um, produce well and harvest well. And so uh, he knows about it and was kind enough to send me uh, a box of free pepper plants. Now, once I get these guys established, I'll be going and taking these to my sister's house where I know as of right now, it's aerophyid free because I haven't grown anything there in two years. So this is actually the second year that nothing's grown there. So I'm going to do my best to go ahead and get these to produce. Um, but before that, I wanted to go ahead and unbox it. So again, it came in this awesome packaging, um, very secure and very well packaged by John Ford. So in this box, I have these two bubble wrap plants um, and just a filler in between so then plants start shifting around so we'll start off with one I've already went ahead and cut these a little bit so it's easier for me to unbox on camera I don't know if you guys can see in the back but uh, that's uh, the original peach dragon you know, it's important for my kids to be able to watch the original uh, movies before they watch these uh, remakes. So, um, tonight or sometime this week, they're going to be watching the original Peach Dragon. So, they have something to compare with uh, to the new one. So, again, very well packaged. Oh, let's see. So, I got this set here, maybe about two or three plants. Uh, he, he, I'm sure he's, there's some dirt in here that he uh, packaged it with and uh, put moist paper towel so then it can make it all the way ooh, uh, to me without a killing it. Very different tape that I've, I've used before. I'm not sure if you guys have seen this kind of tape before. but So this is awesome. This is, it says Reaper BG7. So I'm guessing it's a Reaper cross with a Bubblegum 7. Um, plants look very, very healthy. And so let's fast forward a little bit. A bit faster. So you guys don't have to see me mumble, but anyways, this is the two plants he's sending me with. Um, the plants are about this deep, so uh, in roots. Um, very healthy looking plants. So I'll get these guys in soil. So this is the Reaper Bubblegum 7 Cross, I'm guessing. Uh, and then this one. Let's unravel the mystery. It is a Brazilian Reaper. So very excited uh, about these plants. I've not seen these plants around yet, um, but I know there's a few that are growing it out there. So um, Ford's Fiery Foods and Plants, I believe that's what it's called. I've known him all these years and I still can't ever get uh, his website right. Um, I'll go ahead and provide the link down below so you guys can go ahead and check out his uh, web page uh, for his uh, pepper plant seeds and not sure if he sells pe uh, fresh peppers but 
I know seeds and live plants. So um, thanks for watching. Uh, and I do hope that these plants uh, survive to at least give me a pot or two. All right, guys. Thanks again, John Ford. Thanks for following. If you haven't already done so, click the like. Or, I'm sorry, click the subscribe button over here or here. I'm not sure which one it is. And if you haven't already, click the thumbs up. All right. Thanks for watching.